Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 9. This is the most betas they've ever released on an iOS beta update cycle, and public beta 8 is also available. This is only three days after the previous betas, so I'm assuming or thinking that the reason is, is Monday is a holiday in the United States and maybe they're not working or they're getting ready for the gold master, which we expect to see on the 12th when they have the new Apple event that was announced today. It's being held in the new Apple campus, which is the new spaceship campus, but not there. It's being held in the new Steve jobs theater, which no one's really seen the inside of at least let the public know what the inside looks like. So that should be pretty exciting for those that were invited. This came in at a very small 40.5 megabytes for me installed nice and quickly. And let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15 a five, three, seven, zero a, and this is a longer build number. So it's probably not the gold master. Normally they shorten it once it is, and the gold master will be available in about a week or so or two at this point. Now this update, you're not going to see a whole lot of changes at this point. We're seeing backend refinements on most issues. So for example, we had over 120 resolved issues in the notes and over 60 known issues still exist. So that lets me know that this is probably not updated. Uh, they probably haven't updated their notes since the last beta. So that happens sometimes when we get closer to the smaller little updates, they don't tend to update the notes as much and we don't see a whole lot new. Now we did see one thing that seems to be fixed and that's the portrait camera mode. If we go here, I took this picture earlier. If we go in here and hit edit, we can edit the depth effect. And by doing that, you'll see it changes. Uh, some people were seeing no change whatsoever. Other people had no issues. I actually didn't have too many issues with it, but some people were, and that seems to be resolved. There's also been fixes with Bluetooth connectivity. It seems to be a little bit faster for some and actually working for most people. And also most animations seem to be sped up other than this right here. When I go back and forth, animations such as going into folders seem to be a little bit quicker and there was a little bit of a glitch, but a little bit quicker, but 3d touch still seems to lag. So if I push on this, there's definitely some lag there that I see. I don't see it any more smooth or anything like that, but animations do seem to be sped up. There is still some stuttering. This is a seven plus. So maybe that's why some people said the iPhone seven doesn't seem to have that stuttering issue. Now I did run a benchmark on this. So the benchmark is actually 3526 for single core 5830 for multi-core last week was a little bit faster and this varies from phone to phone. Now I normally close all apps before I run this, make sure nothing's running. So 3522 for single, single core score a little bit faster this time, but slower on the multi-core score for this time for me, that really doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just a kind of a small indicator that things are being tweaked and changed. And it's hard to say exactly what that means, unless it's a huge difference. Other than that, CarPlay seems to be okay. Although on my time using it today, it wasn't showing anything in the music app. I actually had to unlock the phone manually go to music, select the music I wanted. Once I selected that music, I was able to then play it and then it showed up in CarPlay. So there's still some bugs there to work out and hopefully they resolve these soon. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on that I can tell just more refinements. I expect the gold master to have the majority of the re remaining refinements done. And then the final iOS 11.1 version will be major refinements. That's normally when everything really works out the bugs. So if you're someone that doesn't like bugs, I just wait until iOS 11.1 in a few months. Uh, otherwise it's probably safe to use it for the most part here. They're mostly livable. You don't see too many crashes, things like that. But let me know your experience in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave that link in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.